Hi everyone, I'm Oreo, and I'm going to give you an Earth Day tip. Instead of your throwing your food scraps in the garbage, compost them, or give them back to the Earth. Or you can give them to me. Hi guys, um, this is Mrs. Peterson, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about what Oreo was talking about with you, about um, composting our food. Food waste is actually a big part of the garbage problem. I didn't realize this until a couple of years ago when I was reading how, you know, I just thought, oh, throwing your food scraps in the garbage, no big deal. It'll just decompose when it goes to the garbage dump. And But I found out that's not true um, at the garbage dump. The methods they use to get decompose the garbage doesn't work for food. It's it's like different methods. So food waste in the garbage dump is actually more of a problem. So here's some ways that we can help with that problem. First of all, and I know I my family needs to be better about this too, is we need to only use, um, only buy what we need instead of buying so much food and then just throwing away the excess. That's of course very wasteful. Um, another way that we can help though is that we can, if we do have food scraps or food waste, we can compost it. So I'm going to show you a way that um, how my family composts um, at home here, pretty simple and just an idea that maybe you can start. So by our sink, we have just an old crock that I just went and got at um, the, the store uptown, pass it along. And um, I just throw scraps in there, you know, eggshells, onion peels, things like that. We even had some potato peels. And I just keep this by the sink so I don't have to dump it all the time and then just, you know, close it up so then you don't have to worry about the smell and everything. And then every few days we take it out to our compost pile. And it's pretty simple. I'll show you what that is next. So here's the crock of scraps, so I just dump that through my compost pile, and what this is, is basically, this is, we've been throwing food scraps here all the time, and the food scraps have just com decomposed in the dirt, I made this nice dirt, and then every once in a while I just take the shovel and I throw, like, mix the dirt up, just sort of circulate it. nice rich dirt that now this spring I'll spread on my flower beds, my garden, and it just um, gets rid of your food waste but also nourishes your plants and yeah you can throw in leaves, sticks, just a variety of things. They do say to try to avoid meat and dairy products. Um, we're not real particular. Some people like to put it in a nice lattice box and things but that's a, a basic way to do it. Um, next I'll show you how we uh, compost some of our food scraps at school too. So here are composting bins at school. We just have these Rubbermaid tubs. We had to drill holes in them. And then inside are worms. We each time after we mix things up, we put um, shredded paper and sawdust on top. That keeps the, the smell down and, and that this material is composted easily by the worms too. So that's what it looks like right now. I'm gonna dig up here and show you the great compost we have made by our worms. So that is all. That's all our great, basically worm poop. That's now great, rich, very rich soil for our worms. Usually we just throw in some food scraps from the cafeteria on this end. I've had to bring some stuff from home just because of course <laughs> see the worms all over the apple. Um, and pretty soon here we're going to, this is the end we haven't been feeding them at. So there's less worms down here and so what I'll do next week when it's nice out is I'm going to take this dirt out and let it sit a little bit and then mix it in with regular dirt. It's too rich just by itself. So we have to, um, you gotta mix it in with like just, you know, part of this and part of regular dirt. But yeah, it's that simple. And this is an inside product, you know, this is inside. So, and there's not, there was a first a smell when we didn't put the, the shredded paper and the sawdust on top, but now it's been great and we've been able to reduce the garbage produced by our cafeteria by a little bit because instead of the food going in the garbage, we're using it to compost 
with these red worms. This one has red worms. Here's, now we use red worms. And this is Nichols at the high school, the one that showed us how to do this and got us all started. There's a red worm. So yeah, just one of the many ways you can help the earth, a fun way, and kids love it, and pretty simple. All right, if you have any questions, you can ask any of us here at Bureau Valley or Mrs. Nichols, or I bet you if you look it up online, you can find it. And one more way you can help the earth. Thanks, guys.